Hello there. So today we're going to be using hand tracking with Steam Link on the Quest. This works on the Quest 2, 3 Pro and the new headsets. And I'm also going to show you how to create a Steam binding so that you can use it for any VR game you want to use in Steam VR. A few disclaimers. Hand tracking is not perfect. It's not going to be 100% accurate. You're going to have some, some bugs here and there. It's still in beta, so keep that in mind as you're doing all this. Also, you need lots of light, lots of lots of light, so that the hand can track properly. And it's not going to replace the controllers anytime soon. This is just something you want to try for fun. I wouldn't recommend using this for your 100% gameplay, gotta win thing. So, what will I need? You're going to need a Quest 2, Quest 3, Quest Pro and above. You're also going to need Steam Link with Steam VR, and this will not work with a link cable and it doesn't need any trackers. So let's go! First things first, make sure you have hand tracking enabled on your Quest. So under MetaQuest settings, go to settings, movement tracking, make sure hand and body tracking is turned on. And here you can choose how you want to switch to hand, and hand tracking, you can do it automatically or you can double tap the controllers, which is what I, what I like to do. So you can decide how you want to turn on hand tracking, or you can also go to the menu here and turn on hand tracking using this. Next up, you have to be in the Steam VR beta and the Steam Link beta. As of now, later on, it'll probably be live. You don't have to be in the beta. So go to Steam VR, settings, properties, betas, and then click here for beta Steam VR, Steam VR beta update. Then they'll start downloading. And you also need to be in the MetaQuest beta release channel. So click on the link. I'll put it in the description. Then click join for it here. Public beta for Steam Link. And then your quest will download the update for the beta. And you're good to go. Step 3. How to use hand tracking. First you want to check that Steam Link is updated to the beta. So click on three dots here. Settings, installed version, release channels, and you can, if you're in the beta, then you're correct. So right now it's 2.0.11, it's the current one. So you're good to go. And let's launch Steam Link. Okay, connect to your PC. Okay. So right now I'm using controllers, you can see these are controllers. You tap the controllers together to switch to hand tracking, or you can bring this up and press hand tracking. So now in hand, I'm in hand tracking. I'm just gonna change my controls to the fingers so you can see better. Okay, so you can see that's it, you're done. You're, you already have hand tracking on. Switch to hand tracking. So for me, I double tap my controllers to switch. Now I'm in hand tracking mode, so you can see. So to select, pinch your fingers together like this, to select. So let's say I launch Alex. So this is a controller right now. So bring up the Steam menu, go to controller bindings, and press custom. And you can choose another. So switch this to hand tracking controller. And here you can see there are some presets here already. If you don't want to touch any of this, you can scroll down. I already have a binding here. It's called Lunch's Hand Tracking for Alex. So hopefully people create more bindings and then you can just activate it. Press activate. And you can close the Steam menu. Okay, switch to hand tracking. And voila, we have hand tracking. And my controls are working. Perfect. And you want to switch back to controllers, just pick them up. And we are back to controllers. Easy peasy. Right. Checked. Let's go. Rigging King. Come.
how to create your own hand tracking profiles. So get into VR, launch Steam Link, and let's get started. So this is the guide on how to use hand tracking and make your own profiles and Steam bindings for hand tracking in any PC VR game. When I say any, it means games that are supporting hands and obviously first person games. I mean, you could do it in third person, but that would be kind of weird. Anyways, bring up the Steam menu. Go to your game, go to controller bindings, and then switch to hand tracking. You just need to switch first, and then press custom, and then pick hand tracking controller here as your profile. So you need to be in hand tracking for this to show up. If you use your controller, it won't show up. Okay, I'm gonna start a new one from scratch so you can see. Okay, now I'm gonna switch back to my controller so I can oops so I can adjust it easier. So Blade and Sorcery is a good example because it only has one tab and everything is like very basic. Some other games like Half-Life Alex, there's more tabs up here that show different things like movement, guns, etc. So this is a very general game, which is good. So we can I can show you more things. <clears throat> so this is basically a controller, right, Johan? That, so there are a few different um, buttons you can you can customize to. So they're separated into fingers. First one is index pinch. It's pinching your index finger to your thumb. And we have middle pinch, which is pinching your middle finger to your thumb. And then ring pinch, which is pinching your fourth finger to your thumb. And grip, which is gripping your hand like a fist. Index point, which is pointing your finger forward, your index finger. And then pinky pinch, which is pinching your pinky finger, your fifth finger, to your thumb. And the skeleton is just a skeleton, it's not really a button. So these are the buttons you can adjust and customize for now. We're not sure what will come out in Steam VR, VR after the beta is released. So I'm going to show you some basic movements. So for me, this is how I like to move my character. Set the index point, and then... Oh yeah, so there are different things you can set. Triggers, button, toggle button, and a lot. So trigger is basically your trigger. Like you trigger your root press like this. Oops. And then buttons are like buttons you would press. Toggles are like toggles you turn on and off. And analog action, this one is like, you can customize it to X and Y. Um, so this is good for like movement and turning. So I'm going to use analog for movement. And then here, you can set an action. So I want to use this to move, right? So I want to point to move, so I'm going to press move. So here you can see X and Y values. X means left and right. I'm all the way at zero, uh, negative one, means I'm turning left. I'm all the way at one, it means I'm turning right. So I don't want this to move left and right, I just want it to go straight, which is Y. So 1.0 means you move forward, negative one means you move backwards. So we're going to keep it one, and then save this here. And let's say I want to jump on the same thing by pointing my finger on the right hand. So we'll put this. Let's do a trigger this time. So a trigger, you can click, touch, and pull. So click is clicking it, touch is touching it, and pull is like pulling the percentage. We don't normally use pull for hand tracking. So I'm going to set it as a click, and I want to jump. So here you can see all the different things you can set. So each game each game is different. You can click it. So this game has a lot of magic. So set all the buttons. I want, you can make it to turn too, but I don't want to do that, I want to jump. So let's set that as jump. Okay. From here on, you can just close the menu. I'm going to use hand tracking now. Switch back so we can test it out. I'm going to close the menu. So now I'm going to point my finger forward. See, I'm moving. Point my finger, and I'm moving. I'm going to point my right hand finger. Jump. Okay. Next up is buttons. So I find that the ring pinch is a good button to set skills to. So you don't you don't accidentally touch it as much as the other ones. So I want to cast a spell from this one. So let's put a trigger and a click. So I want a spell selection for this. Okay. So right now I'm going to use my fourth finger on my right hand to set it as spell selection. Close it. So 
So right now I'm pinching my false finger to my thumb. You can see I can cast a spell. And index finger plus thumb. Plus thumb. And then here, if you go to the bindings, you can see all the bindings. You can use my one, which I already saved for blatant sorcery. It's called Lunch's Hand Tracking DAS. Just activate it. I'm good to go. I already configured this. Movement, jumping, turning. I'm set my turning to turn in real life because I don't like turning using your hands. It feels weird. I also made the movement a bit slower. It was going too fast. So yeah. So this is the basics of how to set hand tracking configuration. I'm going to show another game now. So I already have a binding here, but let's take a look at it. This one's for Alex. So press edit on the binding you want to edit on. So some games will have skeletal hand input like Alex, but not all games have this. Most games will just be one tab. This one is special because it has multiple controls. So let's go through them. So, so for example, Let's say I, this is my favorite method of moving, which is the index point. So let's say example, I'm going to put the index point on my right hand. And I want this button to point and move straight where I'm pointing at. So I'm going to put it as a trigger. So here we can do a few actions. We can do teleport, turn left and right, move back, walk, jump, mental, crouch, blah, blah, blah. Every game will be different. So good thing Alex has a lot of options. This one has a ton of options. We're going to put walk. So now when I point to my right hand, it's going to walk as soon as I point. Another thing you can do is add another, you can add as many as you want, by the way. So you add an analog action, which is, it allows you to control the value of your movement. So for example, I'm going to set teleport turn. And X is moving left and right, Y is moving forward and backwards. So now, we're going to combine the trigger for walk and the analog action for moving. This is the, to control how much you move. So let's test this out and close the Steam menu. Change back to hand tracking. So I'm using my right hand. What is it, bro? Would you? Just like that. Again, every game is different, so you want to experiment around. But this, this is the, the gist of having how to move in VR. So this will be turning. Right. So the trigger is to control what happens. And analog is the value, if you want to adjust the value. So let's say I turn right. So now it's turning right. Oop. Oop. But honestly, if you're using Steam Link with wireless, you don't really need to turn with the controllers, you just turn in real life like this. I think it's much more immersive since you're already watered this. So, the other thing you can adjust is, let's say your game has weapons. You can adjust your ring finger to eject the magazine, that's what I'm doing. Okay, let's take a look at another example. So we got Poker Stars, Vegas Infinite. Go to controller bindings. And it's the custom. So make sure it's set to hand tracking controller. Did this. So this is perfect. This game is very basic, so we can adjust everything as basic as we want. So I want it, I want the same thing, I want to index point to move. We'll go click on here. And then we use analog for joystick movement. This game moves with a joystick. So this is perfect. So you can see everything is X, Y value. So we're gonna use Y to move straight. And 1.0 to move forward, that's correct. So let's test it out. So I'm pointing forward, and then now it's Give it to me. a teleport. And then I just release to teleport. And pull a diamond? Oh, just like that. That would have been a su um, What's it called? And then I can just grab stuff. That would have been a flash. Oh. Okay. Not bad. So buy into play. This game already has like 
pretty decent hand control, so you don't have to do anything. And bust. I'm just throwing random stuff here with my hands. Okay, whatever. <laughs> What's wrong with my Just random stuff. Because um, I only got the Rift S, the Rift S or something. And um, I only yeah, want some racing games <laughs> with my wheel, you know? Yeah, yeah, my yeah. Steering wheel. Yeah, nice. but now I want to upgrade after playing a bunch of VR games. So this doesn't have the skeletal hand tracking like you see in like Half-Life would have. Lastly, don't forget to save and share your bindings in Steam so that we can all play and enjoy each other's bindings. I think this is going to be a community effort where we all have to create Steam bindings and we can all share it. You can find mine. Mine are always called Lunches Hand Tracking Something. Like this one is Lunches Hand Tracking Alex. And that's it. Enjoy. Create your bindings. Have fun with hand tracking.